of uh, I had I was reborn Christian for like I don't know three hours. Um, well, a lot of people say that when they when they accept Jesus uh, as their savior, they have this moment of elation, euphoric condition, or whatever. You know, I'm I'm like floating about in a in a in a in a days of joy or whatever for you because know, this happens with when you convert to any religion and you'll get that sure honestly so i mean there's it's just a mind game that they all play on each other and so i remember being just having a moment of skepticism and asking a friend of mine my my best friend in high school who is now a southern baptist minister and a oh. young earth creationist uh, i asked him how do i know that this this elation that i'm feeling is really Jesus, and that it's not just, you know, coming from my own mind or whatever, and he grabbed me by both shoulders with this huge beaming smile and said, just keep telling yourself it's Jesus until you believe it. Now, he had repeatedly told me about the fake it till you make it thing, and, and that, he, that he believes that the Bible is the only source of truth. Several problems I see. If you have to fake it till you make it, if you get saved, it's going to be something you know it. You may have doubts, but it, there's this inner knowing that if someone was, was to stick a gun to your head and, that, and tell you to say, Jesus is not real, you couldn't do it. So Aaron Rob was never born again. Yes, there are a lot of people... Jesus had spoken parables about the soils, those on whom the seed was sown on the stony ground. Immediately, anon with joy they receive it. But because they had not death, when the sun rises up, when per per persecution and tribulation arises because of the word, they fall away. Aaron Ra emotionally attached himself to Jesus and Christianity. But spiritually, No. Before he was just as dead to God before his experience, his new birth experience, as he was after his new birth experience, because it didn't touch the spirit; it just touched the soul. And the soul, and the spirit is the, the soul, and the spirit is the, the, and the spirit is to the soul, but the soul is to the body. And this preacher telling him. Just tell, keep telling yourself it's Jesus till you believe it. This preacher was woefully ignorant. This preacher was stupid and deserved to be shot. And this is the reason Aaron Ra, Aaron Ra is an atheist. A preacher I'm about to introduce you to him said, "If you see a find an atheist, look for the anger. Look for the pain. Everyone's an atheist because something." Cause them some pain or anger. Turn them into the into an atheist. And this is what this fake this uh, belief that Jesus is fake and that all Christians are fakers is what fuels Aaron Ra with anger and rage because they preach about eternal. If you're not a Christian, you're gonna burn forever and ever and ever. And Aaron Ra does not want to be one of those fakers. One of those superficial fakers, liars. Whereas Aaron Ra has absolutely no comprehension of true spirituality. Let's, let, let's, let's listen to this man right here. Now this is a former uh, atheist professor. He was a militant atheist. Everybody has a God. Everybody believes in a God or a... And Aaron Rod's God is science and himself. And of course, the devil. You remember when he said, Hell Satan. And the Satan con? Gods. The question is, um, who's your God? What kind of... Aaron Rod may not believe in the devil personally, but he believes in the principles that the mythical, uh, quote unquote, devil espouses. Do your own thing. You're your own God. You're the master of your own fate. You are what you you are what what you make yourself out to be. What kind of God do you have? If you're an atheist, 
really, your God is yourself. <laughs> um, you define what is true, what is real, what's important, what is good, what is evil. And nobody can tell you any better because you you make up your own definition. And Man, I would give a million dollars to see this man and Aaron Ra, Aaron Ra debate. But because I'm a nobody, nobody takes me serious. It, it would do my soul good. It would answer so many questions. It would give me some peace of mind. If only I could see this Aaron Ra debate, this deist. Not the other candy-coated, sugar, saccharine, sweet Christian the theist like Ken Hoven. I'd like to see Aaron Ra debate this Christian. And the beautiful thing is, is you can um, modify and change it um, depending upon the circumstances. Um, let me, let me, because I interrupted. You define what is true, what is real, what's important, what is good, what is evil. And nobody can tell you any better because you you make up your own definition. And and the beautiful thing is, is you can um, modify and change it um, depending upon the circumstances. Um it is an enormous self-deception. The reality is, is that for all of human history, in fact, and most especially for the written history of the last several thousand years, where we have a little better idea of what's, what human history is about, wise people have been meeting and pondering and meditating about the nature of reality, the nature of God, the nature of human existence. There is a, a collective wisdom out there, a collective experience. And in Christianity, we call it a collective revelation through the testimonials, which are the, by the books of the Bibles are testimonials written by people that wise people got together and said, these testimonials show us something true about who humans are, who God is, and what what we should do about it. Some of them better than some of the testimonials are better than others, you know. Um, but anyway, so we have this collection of testimonials representing the wisdom literature of several thousand years, which has since been practiced, tested, and tried over the past couple thousand years by millions and in fact billions of people. Some of it has been perverted, some of it has gone awry, some of it has been misused, but overwhelmingly the majority of it has offered people love, hope, and faith in their lives and tried to create a more peaceful and loving world. Now you, non-believer, say you know better than all that really <laughs> so who made you God yeah, I'm trying to find where he said uh, uh, atheist look for the pain anyways I can't find the video but He said, if you meet an atheist, look for the pain, look for the rage that caused them to become an atheist. Now, Matt Dillahunty Honey became an atheist because, you know, he probably wouldn't, he, he probably would never was truly saved. Not spirit, he's, he was not reborn in the spirit. Christianity was like a career path for him, and he believed in a God, but... He believed in his head, but not as not in his heart. The deepest. I'm not, not. I'm not talking about your emotions. I'm talking about the deepest core of your being, where intuition is felt. He did not actually have an intuition that Jesus was real. Don't worry. I, I was. I was the same thing as Matt Little Honey before I was saved. I believed every word of that book of the Bible was true. I knew Jesus was the Son of God. I had answered prayer. 
I had some wild answers to my prayers. But I was not saved. It was only in my emotions, my soul. But, yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, just keep it in my room. Huh? Well, I'll put it in there for now. We'll find a place. Okay. Okay. Good night. That's where it's needed. Okay. Love you. You too. Bye. Love you. But Howard Storm, the man you just saw, said, "If you find an atheist, look for the pain. Look for the rage." As are saying, Matt Dillahunty. honey. It was all in his head. As he was. Because he was looking, researching the facts, and because the facts didn't seem to fit his belief, uh, faith, since the facts seemed to debunk his faith, since he did not have an inner knowledge of Jesus, he fell away. Now, had he had an inner knowledge of Jesus, he may have struggled with doubts all his life, but he would have known deep down inside that Jesus was real. I'm not. I'm talking on an intuition level. I'm not talking about like Harry Krishna. And all these people who see visions and they believe that believe in their God. This is something deeper, even than than, than George Harrison, that woman who saw that that man who saw that cat woman. Man, I wish I could see Aaron Ra and Hal Storm debate. <laughs>